Seeing red again? Thought so. The dishwasher vampire smile remains one of the bloodiest on the Xbox Live Arcade, yet few people bought it when it was released in early 2011. Why? Oh yeah, you guys were playing Bastion and Miss Splosion Man. Just ignore the Independent Scott Studios and their incredibly violent sequel to the dishwasher dead scene. Just, 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 just ignore it. Just ignore the buttery smooth combat and the great amount of techniques to try. Forget the dark sci-fi thriller storyline and forget the empty room to empty room transitions. Uh, okay, you can ignore that, but, but that's it. The dishwasher vampire smile follows the dishwasher and his stepsister Yuki. I think Yuki has a few issues when she has nightmares and wakes up with a chainsaw for an arm. The rest of the game follows a revenge plot and plenty of ultimately expendable enemies. Damn, just look at that blood, and who says violent games are bad? You get cool weapons to use like samurai swords, butcher knives, and a giant hypodermic needle. Each one plays differently, so it's fun to try out the loadouts and switch weapons on the fly. You also get this crazy dodge move which pretty much lets you levitate. You can use it over and over again, so you can pretty much tell gravity to piss off. The enemies don't mess around though. The diversity is surprisingly robust. Some use guns, others use ninja knives, some even use flamethrowers. Everyone wants you dead, so bear no restraint in the already crazy enemy-specific kill animations. After taking out hundreds of minions, you get to face tougher bosses like guys with giant scissors or muscular goalies who try to beat you to death with their hockey stick like you're a puck in a Flyers game. But between the campaigns, you also get plenty of modes to play through. You can take on specific challenges with specific weapons, or just battle off enemies with a friend in co-op. Leaderboards track your time and damage, and you can even find hidden items and surprise boss fights. But trust me, and, and really hear me out on this, this game is hard. Without spoiling anything, just look out for the final boss. The bastard will tear you a new one repeatedly, so prepare to die, and die, and die. Dying sucks. It's really sad that this game didn't get the attention it deserves. Behind the Blood and Guts is a very fluid and action-packed brawler with a lot of options. It could even rival Devil May Cry in its fluidity. It's only 800 Microsoft points, so you're finally done with Bastion, and I know you are. Pick it up on Xbox Live Arcade. Now, I leave you with the serene violin rock of Yuki. Enjoy! <laughs>